Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Tomsi. I'm a first year medical student at Young Lillian School of Medicine, NUS. So today will be something different. I'll be talking to you guys about Notion and how to organize your life with Notion. So I found it really overwhelming and confusing like what I mentioned just now. So today, I'm gonna get you guys a basic minimalistic setup for Notion that allows you to actually find the right efficiency without overwhelming yourself. I'll give you guys a tour of each page and how to set it up for yourself. So it's gonna be a very quick, efficient video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So what is Notion? Notion is an application that provides components such as notes, databases, Kanban boards, wikis, calendars, and reminders. So just, you can think of it as an extravagant uh, to-do list. Okay, so my Notion. I have six different pages. Number one is my weekly to-do list. My getting things done dashboard for deadlines. This is just a simple page with the overview of my medical school year one content and assessments. Books, journaling, and finally my video project tracker. So it really helps me out to actually plan my YouTube videos and everything. For each one of them, I'm gonna tell you how I use it and also how you can actually get this template or how you can make this template for yourself. So the weekly to-do list is the one that I'm actively using now. So I have many pages, I'm still trying to get all of them uh, in my routine and into my schedule. So it's slowly happening. <laughs> Uh, I just want to be honest with you, but the weekly to-do list, I've been using it for the past few weeks, really. The weekly to-do list that I've created is from Thomas Frank's Habit Tracker, which I'll put the templates down in the video description so that you can actually get this template for yourself and edit things so that it looks like mine. So um, you have to be aware that Thomas Frank has his own to-do list template, which has too many things going on, uh, going around for me and personally it doesn't work for me. So that's why I picked his habit tracker and changed it to my weekly to-do list. So if you guys actually check both of the templates and compare them, you'll understand why I say that. So I repeat myself, do not use the to-do list template from Thomas Frank, but what I want you to do is use the habit tracker template from Thomas Frank and adjust it to what I have right now. Okay, so how to use it. So it's actually very simple. It's just like any other to-do list, but I feel it's a bit better because of the interface and everything. So for instance, um, if I'm done with filming the Notion video that I'm doing right now, I can just take it off. Then if I'm done with my PVP briefing, I can just take it off. And yeah, pretty much the same thing. Then for instance, if I choose not to actually gym today, I can just shift it to the next day. So it's as convenient as that. So for example, if I want to add new things for tomorrow, so I can just add like uh, an app tutorial. I can just put upper limit. Right. So it's as simple as that. I don't really have to explain much. It's a very, very intuitive interface. Um, so what you can do is you can, it will compile across weeks of what you did. So it's very nice. So for example, if it's the next uh, week on Monday, I'll just create a new one and I'll just fill up whatever I want to do and change the date over here. So for me to delete this, it's as simple as just selecting all of those and just press delete. So when you download this template, uh, it won't look like mine so you have to do a few modifications which i'll be going through right now first off let's just go through the basic things so the wallpaper or the picture over here will be different i mean you can just adjust it customize it to whatever you want it to be the cover might be different you can adjust it again i added a quote on perfectionism because it really really resonates with me because i'm a massive perfectionist and i need a daily reminder to tell me that uh being imperfect it's completely normal right so i really love this quote over here um Essentially, I also added a Google Calendar for myself. So how do you add a Google Calendar? Um, it's as simple as actually, you just have to put this and press embed, and you press this and put your public URL of your Google Calendar. But to make it more clear, I will uh, put a, a YouTube link below um, on how to embed the Google Calendar into your Notion page. Okay, so um, this comes with Thomas Frank's um, template. So this is just for your convenience. So um, essentially try to look at the date so that you're more aware of like where in the month you are so that you can plan your tasks accordingly. So just to go through again, um, this was what I changed and adding the Google Calendar is something I changed. But beyond that, what's important is configuring the template of the new week button. So what you do is just press the settings button over there. And what you do is um, 
I mean, you can change the name or the button. Yeah, I mean, for me, it works new week. So, um, so for instance, when Thomas Frank, you'll have a bunch of like random items and everything over here. So what you want to do is like, uh, for instance, you'll have like meditate. Okay, then you will have like, um, I don't know, jogging kind of thing. I can't remember what he included. So when you have meditate and jogging in the new week's template, what will happen is every time you press new week, like the button new week, every time you press the button new week, meditate and jogging, meditating and jogging will be included for every Monday and Tuesday. So these you can add in for like recurrent activities. So for instance, if you are a kind of guy who runs every single day, just putting a run 5km, 3km, we will just be incorporated into your routine itself. So every time you press plus new week, you don't have to adjust that. So it's very, very nice. Uh, you can just do that. Um, when you first get the template again, you won't have this add a new to-do button. So um, let's just delete this so that, sorry. Let's just delete this. So what you, you do is you press this template. So you just get this template button, just press it and you will, you will automatically come up add new to do okay so you can what you can do is what should the button be called if you want it to be called add a new task for instance you can just do that right so it's very very nice um you can just press this add a task and it'll just come up so for me i like add a new to do so i'll just change that later on so just play around with it see what works for you what doesn't work for you so that's pretty much it. So for instance, if you pile up a lot of weeks, you wouldn't want to scroll up and down again and again, right? So all you can do is it compiles into this week log. So for instance, if you want to go to 10th August, you can just press 10th August and just goes over there. And if you want to press 16th August, you can just press 16th August. So when you first download the Notion template, uh, what happens is uh, there's a bug in Notion where it doesn't allow you to link pages. So beyond what I just did right now on pressing this and everything, uh, for your phone app, what happens is you can't access the week log as uh, nicely as on a desktop. So you should be able to press this, uh, sorry, press this week lock button or this calendar button and it will immediately jump to these places so that you can actually actively find the week that you're looking for. So if you guys don't get what I'm trying to say, um, just open up this to-do list on your phone and you'll automatically understand. So to fix that bug, what you can do is just follow whatever he said. Oh, sorry. So just follow whatever he said over here and it's fairly intuitive and you can get it done in like one minute. Okay? So this is my second page, is the getting things done dashboard. So the first one is more for uh, planning different tasks within a day, so like different lectures and everything. But the second one is for deadlines. So for me, I personally don't really have many deadlines yet. So that's why this looks fairly empty. I have to thank these two people, Kehi, I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly, it's Kehi. So this is this entire YouTube video on how to actually create this entire thing from scratch and how to really use it efficiently. So Karma Medic tailored whatever he used to, to med school and university life and that's something I'm following closely. So I really, really recommend to look at both of these videos together. So what I have is essentially very, very simple. So for instance, I have to get, uh, I have a deadline for anatomy tutorial that I have to prepare for by this uh, Friday, for instance. And at tutorial, upper limb, okay? So what I do is I just put in the inbox. So this is called the inbox where, where like you put in all your deadlines uh, whenever it comes fresh. So for instance, if your anatomy prof or like your CS prof tells you you have a task due on this Friday. So all you do is just press this, this, this Friday. It's very convenient. Just press this Friday. Then you, you determine whether it's ASAP or not. For me, ASAP is more of uh, within a one day kind of period. But let's just say this is ASAP. Uh, I'll just take ASAP. And the elegant thing about this is you can put whatever projects you have. For me, I like to customize it to medical school, non-acad, medical school, academic, and finances, uh, like really probably investing kind of thing, live slash admin, and YouTube. So for instance, this is obviously medical school academics. So the moment I put this uh, project title, what happens is it automatically gets to wherever I want it to go. So that's the beauty of this system. So this, these two categorizations are based on time. So for instance, if this is like due now, it's based on whether it's ASAP or not. So if I uncheck the box ASAP, it'll just remove itself from there. Okay, so for me, due soon is different. So due now was ticking off the ASAP button just now, but for due soon is within seven days. So yet again, don't worry if you don't understand what I'm trying to uh, say, it's because um, and how to get to this stage because Kehi and Karma Medic do an amazing job in explaining how to actually get to this stage where you can actually just uh, customize everything to what you like. So for instance, I checked off like from the due now, right? So this anatomy tutorial upper limb is 
uh, due within this next seven days. So my film Notion video and publishing it is also due within the next seven days. So it's all over here and you can still see the Project Stable Medical School Academics and YouTube over here. So these two are based on timeline. The rest, one, two, three, four, uh, I didn't include the finances one because I didn't really think it was necessary in my dashboard, the medical school academics, so you can see the anatomy tutorial over here. This is the categorization based on medical school academics, and this will also be categorized under due soon. So very, very convenient, and you can look at it very nicely, yeah. So there's medical school non-academics, life admin, so for instance, probably like, um, I want to create a gym workout plan by the end of this week, for instance, or um, I want to pick up squash, for instance. I'll just put it as life admin and put in as like a due date. So if you want to pick up squash in the next four months, I'll put in a, a rough estimate of where I actually want to get things done. So you can see this is not really for like very, very formal deadlines. You can just put in for your life kind of deadlines where you just want to pick up a skill by a certain point in time. So for me, YouTube, uh, as you can see, it was over here, sorry, it was over here. And yet again, it comes over here based on like the project. So film, motion, video and publish it. So. Um, the, the other amazing thing is, for instance, if you would deem this is ASAP, you can, it will automatically go to ASAP, like what I showed you. But after you're done, you can just put tick and just removes itself from the categorization table. So then it goes into the completed section where you can see, oh, I'm done filming the video and publishing it. So, so it's a very, very nice uh, way to actually keep track of the deadlines. So yet again, this is to keep track of your tasks on a day-to-day -day basis, but this is for like more long-term deadlines and more long-term projects that you're working on for yourself. Page is also very nice. So what I, I really really recommend uh, you guys to do this. So essentially, it's nothing fancy like the other few pages I have. This is basically the assessments and overview of my entire year one of medical school. So every single course or even in high school, you guys will have this like learning outcomes uh, and everything. I really recommend you to actually take on a broad overview of uh, what is to come so that for instance, if I'm confused on uh, what is going to be taught next. So for instance, we just went through cell, we are learning musculoskeletal system, next will be blood, um, CVS and respiratory system. Okay, so it's very, very nice. Um, so I all I did was essentially created a new page. Um, I titled it overview of, sorry, uni. Right. So what you do is just then, uh, if you're using Mac, Command Shift Four, get in the right nice, the right screenshots, and just pop it in, and you can have it over here very conveniently. And you can see even like when when is my CA one, how long is it, how many MEQs, how many MCQs, um, and like the timelines and everything. Okay. So now you understand like um, how everything's integrated into Notion. So it's not just a to-do list because you can add these mini things that actually makes your life much more efficient. Number four will be books. As you can see, it's a very, very incomplete list. Um, I still have to add all the books that I've read. I was just very lazy, so this is how I'm doing it. So these are all the done books. Um, I mean, not all the done books, but you can key in all the done books over here by just pressing plus new over here, then in progress, whatever you're in progress, uh, then recommendations and everything. So for this and the journal template, I'll put a direct link for you guys to actually just download whatever I have. So it'll just be exactly this. All you have to do is just press the link, press duplicate, and it will just automatically come into your Notion account. But for the first two, I can't do that because um, this is not what I, I created, or this is not what I used from the basic templates. Um, I have to give credit to Thomas Frank, for instance, for creating his habit tracker, and it's not right for me to actually just edit it slightly and claim it as my own. For the books and the journals, I'll just put a direct link so that you can just port it over for yourself. Yeah, so for the journal, uh, as you can see, it's empty. I want to get into journaling, um, especially into like stoicism and everything. So that's a video for another day. But essentially, um, this is a very, very nice template. I think it is written from the basic templates. So it's like just add new uh, name, uh, whatever you want to call it. Then um, you can just add in whatever you want to say, right? Very, very nice. Uh, allows you to reflect, forces you to reflect on a daily basis. And I like it. So. Um, I wouldn't say this is the best, like my honest opinion is, I wouldn't say this is the best journaling uh, template that you can have. I recommend you to actually search more. It's just that the one, this, this kind of works for me. So the last one, it may not be very applicable to all university students. This works out well for me. So this is a template from uh, Thomas Frank again. It's his Notion Video Project Tracker. So uh, all I did was delete some of the overcomplicated things that he has and I edited his template for myself. So for instance, uh, if you look at this, uh, so like I, I created my own statuses uh, and tags. So, sorry, uh, let me say, yeah, my tags. 
so and like i want to go into these uh, videos so like productivity finance medical school life mental health university applications so these are the themes of youtube uh videos that i want to create in the future so i tag them accordingly and the status is very very simple so for those who are aspiring youtubers or like even creating podcasts or blogging um they may have different forms of uh, this but essentially you have to create an idea you have to research you have to script it uh for videos you have to film it for podcasts you have to film it um but for blogging you have to write it so, so essentially you can do the same thing so for example if you're a blogger you can just change this to blogging project tracker then change your status accordingly okay so this is for more people who are looking at creative content what I'm trying to get at is, it may be just six simple pages, right? Um, and it's very, very simple to set up considering I did most of the research for you guys. So all you have to do right now is um, just follow the links that I sent you for, for instance, if you want to get a weekly to-do list, but you're not interested in the GTD dashboard, you can just get a weekly to-do list from the links I sent. So please look at the video description where I really, really will organize every single thing. So my ending thoughts. So hey guys, we have come to the end of the video. I hope you really enjoyed this video. For me, uh, this video was important because a lot of university students or even people later on in life struggle to find a tool that organizes everything for them. So for me, organization is different from putting everything about your life on to Notion. Because at that point, when you have like pages and you have your sub pages and your sub pages and sub pages, it just becomes very counterproductive. Because you are most of the time you'll be spending on like trying to find these pages and trying to create more of these pages. So. I think this is two-dimensional in a good way, like the templates I have, uh, because it, it just looks at the basic of the basic templates and it just gets the job done, yet it's organized, right? Um, so that was what I was looking for and I finally got it after doing like a, like a few hours of research and I made it easier for you guys by just directly putting the links for you guys so that you can just directly get whatever I have. So I hope that was useful. Please like, subscribe and share this. Uh, this video so that I can be inspired to produce more videos like this. Thank you so much.